Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack the Ride. Special News Bulletin. Says you. Hey! How did it go? Hello. Just ride? kidding. All right, then. Where am I? How many of you are there? One player? Great. I'll keep you company. Is this your first time on the ride? Welcome back. We may tease you a lot, but we've got you on the spot. Welcome back. Please type in your name. <laughs> Come, is it so hard to type in your name? Alrighty then, I now will refer to you as Booger. Yeah. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on it. I'm really, so how did sorry we get to, to say Booger that our time together about is the interruptions. over. Enjoy your ride. I'm kind of curious, where did they come up with this? It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture Bodily oh, fluids? This episode of that You Don't Know sense. Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by Recoveraholics Anonymous. Addicted to addiction recovery programs, we can help. Call us. No, wait, don't call okay, us. Okay, nose picking bad, edition. Bad. Back and addiction, now, I guess. I don't know. welcome the original guru of trivia, Nate Shapiro! Woo! Alright, welcome to You Don't Know Jack. Listen, don't worry because I promise you hours of uninterrupted fun. So calm down and stop picking your nose. At least 20 minutes. It's time to rid yourself bad of habits. a few okay. bad habits. Okay, hit your butt. There's the cash and here's the category. You're a bad habit to break. Alright, so let's suppose you finally decide to clean up your act and go into drug rehab. Now that you're in detox, what activity will you not be allowed to take part in to pass the time? Playing chess, shooting eight ball, dealing poker, or pumping iron? Well... Uh, yeah, it turns out that eight ball is a common name for any of the various forms of methamphetamine people put mm -hmm. in their bodies. Yep. And you know, I kind of wish someone had told me that before I stuck the pool cue in my... Well, you don't really want to know this, do you? Actually, I do. Okay, kiddo, what's this one gonna be worth? Oddly enough. That's what it's worth, then. Here's what I it's I feel called. we've gotten to know each other well enough. Hi, my name is Habitual Drinker. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Let's say there's a splinter group of Alcoholics Anonymous whose members do want their names to be known. What would the group call itself? Alcoholics Anonymous, Alcoholics Polyonymous, Alcoholics Eponymous, or Alcoholics Hieronymous? Um, hi, my name is Bob, and this is Bob, my drinking problem. And let's see the correct answer. Anonymous means bearing a name. Apparently there's also a group called okay. Alcoholics Anonymous. I drank a lot. Uh, I imbibed. I, I swigged. I guzzled. I... Okay, that's enough. Okay, what's the value of the... Gotcha, okay, coming up. Coffee Shop Bullies. Okay, all you matadors, put down your cappuccinos and answer this analogy. Olay is to with milk as Olay is to Bull, charge, bravo, or Mommy. Olay means bravo, I believe. Nice job, kiddo. Bravo! The crowds of bullfights yell Olay or bravo to praise the bullfighter. And when they add milk to their coffee, they take the stir and they stab over and over and over and over. Hmm. Buzz it in, baby. There you go. Okay, the category is... The Incredible Edible Toenail. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. If you not only bite your nails, but also eat them, what nutritional value do they supply? A dose of calcium, a boost of iron, extra protein, or a hit of vitamin C? Well, I guess they give you some hey, protein Hey, should I get the back? steak or the nail biter special? Nails are a hardened form of keratin, which is a protein. But you, you really want to bring out the flavor? A little earwax makes a fantastic dip. Time that buzzer. Hey, sweet. Okay, here's what we're doing. 
get your feet off the coffee table. No. So if you're any good at this game, I'm gonna guess that one of your vices is channel surfing. If you wanted to get off your lazy butt and actually surf a channel, where should you go? The Hudson River, the Gulf of Mexico, the Red Sea, or the Bering Strait? Channel? Hmm. The Bering Strait? Hmm, let's see. It's a narrow body of water that connects two larger bodies of water, and that's what a channel does. Of course, one of those bodies of water is the Arctic Ocean, so you might want to just stay home and watch a Discovery Channel special on it instead. With or some at least pack a wetsuit. Beer. You know, unless you can scrounge up something special. Hey, I honey, will you pass the toenails? Slap the buzzer and give me the Okay. Dog. Time for a little roadkill. <laughs> Who called shotgun? Don't forget you gotta buzz in when you see the answer that unites the pair of items on the screen. And don't forget that bonus. Pay attention to all the correct answers. All right, you ready? Let's punch with it. Bad habits. Traveler singer and makes popcorn. What do these two things have in common? Popper. Benny and Popper. Score. When a cowboy rides, a ball game with letters. Worse. Slang terms for drugs so far. David's ammunition and blank the gas box. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all things you can bet on? All liquors! No. Rushlang! Yep. Shabang! You got it, you burnout! Check yourself out there. Okay, here we go. Talk to me, give me a value. Oh, nice shooting, baby. Here's your category. Do not buzz in. Everything starts you know. an hour late around here. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Suppose Georgia O'Keefe were on Eastern Standard Time. Who of the following should definitely set his or her watch to Central Standard Time? Minnesota Fats, Virginia Madsen, Washington Irving, or Indiana Jones? Minnesota. Georgia is located in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, and Minnesota is in the Central Standard Time Zone. But you know what, I object to the term fats, because he wasn't fat, he was just overfilled with love and snack cakes. He had a lot of snack cakes. Dude. Hey, buzz in to select the value. There's your value in the category you picked is called... The Famous Seafood Diet. Does seafood need it. Hey, Sally, can you help me with this question over here? Ew, Nate, disgusting. Disgusting. Quit talking with your mouth full. Look, just look into my mouth and tell the folks at home what you see. Okay, whatever. Um, looks like there's some egg, pie crust, maybe bacon, and uh, a little bit of Swiss cheese. Okay, what am I eating? Shepherd's pie, pizza lane, egg benedict, or western omelet? With a pie crust? Okay, so if you remember playing steal the bacon with cookies, you know that pizza ring is a custard pie made with egg, cheese, cream, and bacon. Okay, I help. Now will you close your mouth? Okay. You wanna play Looky? What's Looky? Ah. Oh, quit it! Gotcha. Okay, how much money am I giving away? We're all 12 around here. You know what? I think you'll actually be pleased about this. No, not this even on the this or that. This isn't any question. This is the this or that. The category for this dissertat question is 
Are we pumped or what? Okay, I'm going to list or off what? seven products. Now, what you have to do is tell me if each item is caffeinated or not caffeinated. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. All right, you can have 30 seconds to nail all seven. Get your fingers on those numbers. Here we go. Really? All right, uh, that's about a what's about a C plus D minus. Let's huh. see what that does to your GPA. I didn't know Sunkist had caffeine okay, in it. Okay, get your bearings. The game and continues. I didn't know decaf had caffeine in it. Wasn't that kind of the point? Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the high. Okay, and that's gonna be served up with a category called. Pick not thy nose, saith the Lord. Okay, let's say televangelist Jimmy Swaggart preaches a sermon on bad habits inspired by the Old Testament book of Leviticus. Because it is not specifically forbidden by the book of Leviticus, which of these would Jimmy Swaggart not proclaim? Avoid clothing made of different fabrics, thou shalt not eat rabbits, do not have sex with your cousins, or forsake the evil of tattoos. I don't think he said anything about your cousins. Well, cuz, he didn't tell us not to. Woohoo! But listen, make sure you only have sex with your cousins who don't have any tattoos, have never eaten a rabbit, and wear 100% cotton. Buzzing for the bucks, baby. Thank you, and the category is my kind of political party. The Green Party. All right, so after years of not being able to vote, women were finally granted suffrage in 1920. Considering what else happened in 1920, what would suffragettes not have been able to do while waiting in line to cast their ballots? Chug beer, sniff glue, smoke cigars, or wear pants? I'm pretty sure that was around the time they dried out America. Uh. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, you're under arrest. But it was a light beer. Prohibition also began in 1920. Okay, kiddo, what's this one gonna be worth? I thank you very much, and here is your category. Never mix coke and objectivism. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. How might a drug dealer use the philosophy of Ayn Rand to defend his career choice? Got my rational self-interest to think about. Man, I'm just giving people what they want. Pharmaceutical rackets need competition. Or, I keep the folks high so they won't revolt. Self-interest. Look, officer, I got my rational self-interest to think about here. Uh, well, okay then, you're, uh, free to go. Ayn Rand promoted objectivism, a form of capitalism that encourages people to live for themselves. Okay, what's the value of the next question? Some people still think it's an excellent way to live. Just look at what happened to Sears it is if time you want to an example of why attack. it isn't. Here's your clue. Who's was it you? Were you yeah, little bad boy? Was, me. was it you, you little bad girl? I was naughty. Technically not Nixon, but close enough. I kind of remember some of these scandals. That was swear, wasn't it? Baker, that's right. Hint house. it's not like you have any friends to brag to. Do 
time now for a page from the success journey with motivational so anyway, speaker and full-time dreamer, Dr. Harvey in. Bass. Let me tell you the story of a I'm small going farm to boy guess from Alaska. Alaska. Eight, eight, more to go. in poverty, often cold, often Seems hungry, like they're many times forced to eat games his own for hair host. for sustenance. His father, a proud Emily man, Buzz eked out a living get racing a single caribou game and selling himself. their hooves so to be made into pencil erasers. The father expected anyway, his son to take, care, take over the family business. I'll see you back well, next time for more. Well, this bright, more. ambitious boy As had always, a different idea. I leave you he had what I like to call a dream. The boy, at the tender age of 12, rented a car and drove from Alaska to a small island off the coast of Florida. There, he fulfilled his dream of growing a beard, smoking big cigars, and talking in a funny accent. Yes, that man is better known to you and me as billionaire entrepreneur and respected world leader, Wilford Brimley. This has been a page from the success journey with Dr. Harvey Bass. Mom and Dad, pack up the station wagon and bring the kids to Covey Wadsworth's drive through zoo. My name is Covey. I have a zoo. You can drive through it. It's the only drive through zoo in the whole tri-state area. It's perfectly safe. Sure, the animals are wild, but the exhaust fumes tend to make them listless. There was that time, though, when those lions ripped open the sunroof on that Hyundai like they were peeling back the tab on a pudding pack. Whoa. But what the hell? You sign the disclaimer, you take your chances. We've got monkeys, we've got zebras, we've got all sorts of exotic animals, like goats and stuff. Whatever the big zoos have or don't want anymore, we have. We've even got an elephant. He's not looking too good. So you better hurry up and get down here to Cubby Wadsworth's drive through zoo. Off old Route 2, right next door to Cubby Wadsworth's Grill. We'll scrape off whatever's on your grill and cook it up for you real good. Baboon's mighty tasty with a slab of melted cheese on it. This week on Renacops. Yeah, we got a call for backup over at the gymnasium. Renacops takes on the mean sidewalks of Jackson Community College. It's homecoming weekend. They needed some extra crowd control. Hey, is that an open container? You can't just walk around with that. Hey, you can't pull that out. Get back here. <sighs> Okay, in pursuit of three underage drinkers. Oh, they hopped over a fence. I lost them. Hey, you! Could you turn that down? You got some complaints? Hey, you! They're throwing eggs! They're throwing eggs at me! I'm hit! I'm hit! Renacops, what they gonna do? If you're looking for an alternative to alternative, check out the new album from White Noise. Static! Rolling Stone calls it a triumph in nihilism. Billboard says it's a sound that can be found on the radio between, well, just about everything. Static features the title track, Static. Turn that crap down. Something's wrong with the receiver. And the live version of Feedback. Static. We don't care if you get it or not. Playing solitaire on the computer is fun, right? But it's hard to remember all those rules. Now there's a computer card game that gets back to the basics. 52 Card Pickup 2000. That's right. 52 Card Pickup 2000 does all the work by throwing the virtual deck all over the virtual room. Whoa! There are cards all over the place. You know what to do next. Here's the four of clubs under this couch. I'm going to pick it up. Wow, there's three or four under this table. I'm going to pick them up. You can play by yourself or set up exciting tournament play. With your web browser, you can even play other people across the internet. It's simple. It's repetitive. It's 52 card pickup 2000. You'll wonder why you ever owned a real deck of cards.
Now I'm in M-I-S-R-E 